Most of us will have a memory of a game that blew us away. For a young Kevin Carstens in the mid-1980s, it was on a family holiday at the Oregon seaside where he had an encounter with Don Bluth's follow-up to Dragon's Lair, Space Ace. Space Ace, defender of justice, truth, and the planet Earth. Ace is being attacked by the evil Commander Borg. Hold your fire! Who is that creep? Borg! Grizzlies must surrender to me. No way, Borg, old buddy. Oh! Ah, I've been hit! By the Infanto Ray! Grizzlies must surrender to me. After blowing over $50 in one day on the machine, little Kevin started to harbour a dream. A dream where he would create a brand new Space Ace game, following the fortunes of Ace's beautiful sidekick, Kimberly. Come on, Kimberly, let's go. I've been hit. Ah! Be valiant, Space Warrior. The fate of Earth is in your hands. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Hey, stop that! Space, Space, the final frontier. frontier. Knock that off! Do you want to get us into legal trouble? It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. That's it, I'm leaving. Fast forward 20 years and Kevin is now making a name for himself with the comic adventures of his own characters, Star Toons. Plenty of artistic experience behind him, he finally decided to make the game he had dreamed of. There's four ship! As this cinematic and gameplay footage shows, he got quite far into the project when he received the dreaded letter from Blue Enterprises, politely asking that he cease and desist in the production of the game due to copyright issues. Ah. The humanoid must not escape. But rather than let all the knowledge and experience of creating a laserdisc style game go to waste, Kevin decided to create an original game, using his Star Toons characters as the heroes. As this work in progress teaser shows, you must help defeat the evil Retronator, who's travelled back in time and kidnapped all the good game characters and released all of the baddies. Once complete, the game will be made available for free, so expect us to keep you informed of progress through either Weekend Gamer TV or our audio sister show.